as teachers, we were aware that our children um, were underachieving when it came to uh, literacy skills, particularly uh, at an early age. Um, and so what we did was that we um, conducted uh, a reading analysis uh, with the children and uh, that identified then that a significant number of our children had reading ages that were below the chronological reading age. So we started off um, with very close data analysis to look at you know, exactly how many children were behind and what the sort of percentages were that were very far behind and those that were perhaps a little bit behind who could you know, improve with a bit of intervention. So my sort of goal was that every child in the school read every day to an adult. That was my first point there, was to recruit um, as many parents to support the children as I could. Um, I was able to deliver training then to all the volunteers so that they had um, equivalent to NOCN training in um, reading. They were actually able to help teach reading. Within a few months, I, was, I could see that my goal of every child reading every day was actually achievable. But, you know, I soon explained to staff and parents that these volunteers were trained and that reading was still going on in the classroom. Um, down in foundation phase, uh, they have daily phonic groups and in Key Stage 2 we have a, a reading carousel of activities on a daily basis where the teacher is actually doing guided reading with a group every day. So every child in our school who's behind has support. And within the first two years we've had a 15% increase in reading ages. So now I've got 57% um, of children are above whereas before it was only 42%. When we first started testing, 36% of our children were in the red category, more than 12 months behind. Whereas um, when we tested last summer, uh, only 18% were uh, more than 12 months behind. So that clearly shows the amount of progress we're making. And in particular, the green children there, they've gone from 23% to, to 39% who are way above their reading ages, showing that we've got some really terrific readers in the school who are, um, who are flying.